Hi, I'm Laura Gurton, and I'm a Distinguished Professor of Earth Sciences at Penn State Brandywine. I've been teaching at Penn State for over 20 years, and since day one here at Penn State, I've been utilizing technology as a tool to enhance student learning and my own teaching in, in courses. What I did with immersive technology was in an honors course. It was GeoSci 40, which is called the Sea Around Us, which is 15 weeks to cover anything and everything about the ocean. In the honors section that I taught last spring, I thought I would try to use 360 video with the students and have them create their own virtual tours in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Atlantic City is an hour and a half away from the Brandywine campus and it's so close but yet so far because of our students and their very busy schedules with their jobs, their extracurricular activities. It's hard to get students out on field trips. And so I wanted to utilize that particular group where we also had access to get funding for transportation for me to bring the students down to Atlantic City for a half day field trip. What we focused on was visiting the wastewater treatment facility on examining how in Atlantic City, they're making sure they're not polluting the ocean. Also looking at how renewable power is being generated with wind and solar to power that wastewater treatment plant. There had been a lot of whale beachings that had been going on last spring. And so we uh, did a, some exploration on the spots where the whales had been watching up and also uh, did a little exploration into Chicken Bone Beach, which is uh, a fascinating look at the history of social justice issues and who had access to the beach uh, in Atlantic City's history. What got me really excited was for the students to be able to go down there and to also be engaged in creating this content that could then be used uh, for students that were in future semesters as well. We used ThingLink for the virtual software, but I will say in my course, we started a little earlier than that. So the technology piece came later in the whole process. So this was very much a scaffolded assignment. First, I had suggested the topics to the students and the class was divided into teams. And each team actually utilized Microsoft Teams as a group to organize all their materials and thoughts. I had each group uh, use documents where they would compile resources that they looked up online, whether it be other websites and videos or journal articles that they found. So collaboratively, before we did the field trip, students were gathering information. Each team also kept a research log within Microsoft Teams so that they could track their progress and document for me what each person was doing as we were getting ready and in preparation to then visit the site. And they also made note of what they wanted to see specifically and to remind themselves what they needed to take photos of when they were down there. So when we went down, we, I apologize, we had the training first on uh, what we were going to be doing in the end and how to use the, the 360 cameras. We did a training session on campus with Carla Seward, who uh, is our media commons campus consultant, trained my students on that material and then we went down to the beach. And I have to say there were troopers about the whole process. The weather was horrible. Uh, the rain uh, held off at least for most of the time that we were outside. Uh, it was pouring rain, but they were there with notebooks in hand and with the cameras and worked incredibly well as a team and across the teams because we visited uh, several different sites when we were in Atlantic City. I think uh, one of the interesting parts for me uh, afterwards when students were compiling their video projects in ThingLink was how easy it was for them to then be able to create this narrative that they had defined and to utilize the multimedia materials. And as they were going through ThingLink, they even started asking me questions. Well, could I put a Google Earth image in here? Could I put a map within the map? and well, let's try this out. And so they were asking questions and then answering their own questions as they were going through. So it was wonderful to see that with the minimal instruction they received, they were able to pick it up a notch and be able to create uh, some really fun, really informative multimedia materials that I am now able to use with future instruction of this GSI 40 course. 
So seeing their excitement about it, uh, seeing what great troopers they were with such bad weather going out in the field, again, having these uh, virtual tours makes it very easy now for me to be able to provide an experience for students because I can't take them all to Atlantic City, unfortunately. What was important that I did not realize as, as an outcome of this is that this particular group of students were ones that said they had never been on a field trip before. And that really struck me and I had to pause and think about that. And it's because they finished up high school at the time of COVID. So their senior trips and any field trips they would have gone in on in their junior and senior year uh, did not happen. So for many of these students, it was their very first field trip. And I, I should have done a better job preparing them for that. I had food, I made sure lunch was provided, and I had extra snacks for them on the bus trip, even though, again, it was a very short trip. I brought extra Ziploc bags and uh, umbrellas to make sure we would be all set with that bad weather. But uh, setting students up for what the expectations are for a behavior on a trip away from campus, again, it was not an issue for me, but it is something to think about as uh, Field trips from schools, K through 12, are going online also more and more or not happening just to do a better job preparing my own students for being able to do it in the field. I think it did a great job advancing uh, student confidence in their abilities not only to learn the material but to be able to engage and to be able to share out. I know several of them have shared the tours uh, beyond the class. And in fact, part of the assignment was the students had to peer review each other's tours before it was turned in to make sure that there was consistency and clarity with the material that was used and the narrative that was within there. And I look forward to utilizing this again, hopefully another beach trip, but if not, we have plenty of areas around our campus uh, that we would be able to uh, walk to, or at least can locally get to that would minimize our time away from campus and impact on their own schedules uh, to be able to create some really meaningful material to bring the outdoors and, and field work to my students.